Little detective with the detector I got, I, I found 28 cents. And I was, I was thrilled and my wife was kind of disappointed. So the next day I went out, I got my first gold ring. Got me going and I've uh, been going ever since. Every time you go down there, people have lost stuff over the last, I don't know, 200 years and, and it's all there. We find all kinds of stuff on the beach, guns, knives, watches, everything. Did he say guns? Finding a gun, it, 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 somebody's done something bad with it or something and you really don't want to keep those things. So we turn them into the police department and uh, they dispose of them. Through the years, Lance has collected more than 1,200 gold rings, jewelry, gold and silver coins, belt buckles, old locks, and yes, even a few guns that were untraceable. In recent years, he's sold off most of his collection and taken vacations with his wife. We took, a, a paid for a two month trip to Alaska with what I found on the beach. And my wife said, it didn't cost us anything for the trip. I said, yeah, I said, just my time and the physical part that I got to, to do uh, on the beach to dig all this stuff and then sell it and then use it and we could enjoy it together and, and it was wonderful. Yeah, I got a target here. Right in the rocks, like I thought. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Yeah, I don't know if it's real or not. Looks like a little gold bracelet. In the morning when I get up, I log on to this site with Scripps Institute of Oceanography and that's the Coastal Data Information Program. And it gives me the, the north and south swell on that's going to uh, come onto the beach each day. And it, it tells me where I should hunt the best chance to find a treasure. I also come up to this experimental coastal wave height forecast for Southern California. It gives me three days information, today, tomorrow, and the next day, as to height of waves in different areas of Southern California. Between this and the swell forecast, I can tell just about where I'm gonna hunt, where I'll have the best chance of finding treasure. Well, oh, there's target right there. Okay. Well, yeah, here it is. It's a quarter. This is how they come out of the ocean. It's been in the water a while. You can see the rust is coming off of it. We have to take these and clean them up in a rock tumbler with uh, salt and vinegar, and it'll make it look shiny again, and we can put it back in circulation. When we return, Lance will share his most special finds, and he'll explain what's the greatest reward to his treasure hunting. This is one of the neatest treasures that I've found on the beach. It's a $50 gold coin, and, and when I found this, I was so excited. It's like, ah, awesome. But uh, along with this, I found four other pieces of gold, so I had five total in about an hour and a half. Another piece I found is a, it's a diamond watch. It's a Bon Mercier. It has 26 diamonds. And when I showed my wife, she just, she came unglued. It's very nice. I also found this one and a half carat marquee diamond that she wears. I found it 20 years ago. It's, it's one of my best finds also. One day at the beach, I found seven bangle bracelets. I was going along and at about 14 inches I got this target and so I dug down and I got one and I bent it with my sand scoop because I didn't know what it was and I thought oh wow okay so then I went along about two feet more and I got another target and it was the same signal sound as the first one I said I'll bet I know what that is and sure enough in the end I had seven bangle bracelets. Over the years, Pete's Tackle Shop has become a favorite hangout every morning for treasure hunters like Lance. Well, it got to be a central meeting place for all the guys. And now when somebody finds something, 
they come into the shop and they show everybody and they don't have to advertise uh, what they find or where they find it but if they want to show it off you, they have somebody there to watch them and, and it, it's cool this is really a beautiful mm -hmm. ring where'd you find it south of manhattan pier about what street uh around 10th 10th street yeah but on the top of the berm or in the wet in the wet in the wet yeah you're gonna go this afternoon I've, I've got to work <laughs> have at it you let me go it's all yours thank you man each year thousands of rings just like this one are lost on the beaches of america lance rig knows this and he hunts for these with a vengeance with more than 1,200 rings in his collection, Lance says his greatest thrill comes from reuniting a lost ring with its owner, even if it's been decades. All of the items that we found, the jewelry that we can't return, that's ours, so to speak, finders keepers, uh, to be able to go down there when someone's lost something and they got a real sour look on their face and you find what they lost and give it back to them. The look on their faces, is just, it's amazing. It makes you feel so good. Things that we can't return, the, the jewelry that we found, you say, gee, who lost this? And, and you know, you, they really got to be heartbroken because they lost it. But to be able to give part of it back, that's cool. We really enjoy that. That's a special feeling that we have. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Treasure Hunting America. And join us next time for more stories of everyday people who are turning up treasure all over the country. I'm your host, Mark Hendricks, and until next time, happy hunting. Treasure Hunting America is sponsored by White's Electronics, manufacturers of the world's finest metal detectors. For over 50 years, White's has been building metal detectors in the USA for treasure hunters around the world. For more information, visit their website or call the number on your screen.